The pandemic has meant that many films have been postponed several times, but now Disney's Mulan is finally released today. Loyal, brave, and true. It is my duty to protect my family. It's a live-action remake of a, a previous animated version. and The story is from a 6th century Chinese war ballad. A girl wants to bring honour to her family, and so she pretends to be a man to join the Chinese army. But there are calls in Thailand, Taiwan and Hong Kong for it all to be boycotted. Well, our China media analyst, Kerry Allen, joins me now to explain why. So why are there calls to boycott it? Well, this all goes back to August 2019 when the lead actress of this film, Liu Yifei, posted on Sina Weibo, which is China's equivalent of Facebook or Twitter, that she was in support of the Hong Kong police. Now, around this time, there was a lot of people, a lot of celebrities saying that they supported the Hong Kong police amid the protests that were happening in the region, which at their peak saw a quarter of Hong Kong's population taking to the streets in protest of increased laws from mainland China entering Hong Kong. So at the time, there were questions about, say, for example, if someone was arrested because of um, protesting, they could be taken over to the mainland and could spend years in prison as opposed to a few months or, or not be imprisoned full stop in Hong Kong. So yet yeah, lots of protests about this um, from Hong Kong people, from Taiwan as well, which has had frictions with the mainland before, um, but also the country Thailand. And these three regions together are known as the Milk Tea Alliance, who have very much been active on Twitter today and putting out posts using the hashtag Boycott Mulan. But I hear this film is going to go straight to a streaming service. So I suppose some of the sting of a boycott people um, sort of perhaps not going into cinemas might be taken out by that fact. But how do people in China feel about these boycotts in general? Well, they completely disagree with them. I mean, if you look on Sina Weibo today compared to on Twitter, and I can't stress enough, you know, I open Twitter, I'm based in the UK, and there are more than 100,000 Twitter users just here using the hashtag Boycott Mulan. So there's a lot of activists all around the world using this. But in mainland China, people are very excited about this film because it's based on an old classic, because it features such an um, an, an actress who's very popular in the country. Um, so a lot of people who are based overseas in, in countries like the US today are posting that they're sat in front of their computers about to watch it, or um, yeah, they're actually in physical cinemas in other countries, um, very much looking forward to going to see the film. Very interesting. Many thanks. That was Kerry Allen, our China media 